Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and today we are playing Stardew Valley. So today we are going to showcase a video around auto petters and where you can get them. If you take the Georgia route instead of the community center route, once you complete all the development projects with Morris, you can purchase the auto petters inside the Georgia map. Now they are quite expensive, they, they will cost you 50,000 gold just for one. So if you have multiple barns or coops on your farm, you will have to get an auto petter for each one if you don't want to wake up in the mornings and spend an hour or two petting your animals. So this can become very costly very quickly depending on what kind of a farm setup you have. There is however a much cheaper way to do this and that is by getting them in the skull cavern. There's a very good chance you can pick up an auto petter inside a treasure chest which is located in the treasure room of Skull Cavern. Now treasure rooms are random, but you can increase the likelihood of finding a treasure room based on the current luck that you have going into the Skull Cavern. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you a little preparation guide and items you can get to increase your luck. The lucky ring being the first item, this gives you a permanent luck increase, which will increase the odds of you finding treasure rooms in the Skull Cavern. So here we go to Ginger Island, we go to the dig site, I'm just going to eat a magic rock candy here now because it gives me a plus 5 increase to luck and I'm going to use my pen. And there we go, first attempt of the day, lucky ring. So you can have two lucky rings in total, you can't combine them unfortunately. The second way you can use to increase your luck is to get a special charm. So you can get a special charm by picking up a secret letter which gives you a quest. And if you follow those arrows it brings you up to this truck here. You give the co-worker a rabbit's foot and he will reward you with a special charm which permanently increases your luck. So that's a passive item. And it goes into your wallet down there. Rabbit's foot can be gotten from uh, rabbits, especially rabbits that have high friendship. And they can also be gotten from serpents in the skull cavern. The magic rock candy is the best consumable in the game in my opinion. It gives plus 5 to luck as well as increasing attack, defense and it also gives you a nice speed buff as well. It's, it's an unbelievable, unbelievable consumable. Go to the Desert Trader on a Thursday with three prismatic shards and you can get a magic rock candy. Now you can only get one, so if you want to um, stock up on these, you have to wait each Thursday before you can purchase one. If you want to speed things up, you could go in on a co-op game, you can get some friends to join and each, each friend could purchase a magic rock candy. Plus 5 attack, plus 5 defense, so even if you get rooms where you can't put down a staircase straight away, you have to do some mining, and the serpent's literally swinging out of your head, you will have the means to defend yourself, and defend yourself quite well. <laughs> staircases. So when you go to the Skull Cavern, what you want to do is you want to spam staircases until you find a treasure room. And the best way to do this is to stock up on crystallariums. You can put them in a shed, you can put them in your farm, put them wherever you want. I put them in a shed here because it keeps it tidy. And go to the desert trader every Sunday. And you can get a staircase for a jade. So obviously if you have a shed filled up with crystallariums like this, every two days you'll be able to get 124 jades right there. That's 124 staircases. So today is Sunday, we're going to go to the Desert Shredder here now and we are going to buy loads of stairs. We've stocked up on quite a number of jades. The more staircases you have, the more chances you're going to get to locate the treasure rooms. So the treasure rooms, they give loads of great stuff. Not just auto petters, they also give auto grabbers. They give crystallariums, they give iridium sprinklers, iridium bars, prismatic shards, the cowboy hats, if you like cowboy hats, uh, they give the turban, bombs, life elixirs, they, there's a lot of stuff, the cherry saplings, orange saplings. You can get loads of goodies out of the treasure chests in the Skull Cavern. So we're now in the Skull Cavern, we, we've eaten our magic rock candy, we have two luck rings equipped it, and we also went in on a super lucky day. So there's the first auto petter that we've gotten. Now it took us a good few treasure rooms to find one, but it's all RNG. You might get one on your first go, you might you might not get one at all. 
but the more luck you have, the better your odds are going to be because the more treasure rooms you're going to find. So that's auto pedder number two. This is the third auto pedder. And this is the same day. That's three auto pedders now in one day that we have gotten. This is the fourth auto pedder. So today was a really good day. And this is the fifth auto pedder that we're going to get. So we only got five today. Now I've done Skull Cavern runs and I've come out with between three and five auto petters. I've done Skull Cavern runs and I've come out with none. It's, it's all RNG based. But if you go in with as much luck as you can get, chances are you, you will surely get a few of them. So we're going to leave the video there, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will be uploading more Stardew Valley videos in the next few days, so stay tuned for those, and as always, I hope you have a good day. Bye now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.